Hello everybody! So today's video I'm doing another Pinterest truth or fail. I feel like it's been a long time since I have done those. I don't even remember what the last one was that I did. But this pin has been floating around the Pinterest sphere and Facebook and like just hitting me. The universe has been hitting me with this recipe so like I've got to try it. And I know this is probably going to be a winner because it's from a blog that I absolutely love. It's the Detoxinista. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of her. Um, her website's just Detoxinista.com. I'll link it below so you can find it. And I'll link this pin below too so you can find that as well. It is a healthy queso dip that is gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, so there's no tofu or anything in this, and um, egg-free but there is nuts, there's cashews in this, so um, if you have a nut allergy, this is probably not the best for you, but it is dairy-free, so it's great for vegans, great for folks that follow paleo diets, gluten-free diets, all that kind of stuff. And I'm super excited to try it. Let's jump in. This pin, you're going to need one cup of cashews that have been soaked in water up to four hours, three tablespoons of nutritional yeast, you can get that at Whole Foods or any health food store. A can of fire roasted diced tomatoes with chilies. This is the Mir Glen brand. An eighth of a teaspoon of turmeric. The juice of half of a fresh lemon. And a teaspoon of Celtic sea salt and a quarter cup of water. So all you're going to do is in a high speed blender Drain off the water from the cashews and pour those in there. And then to that you're going to add your quarter cup of water, teaspoon of sea salt, the juice of half of a lemon, your three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. This is what kind of gives it that cheese kind of flavor your eighth of a teaspoon of turmeric, and the juice of the can of tomatoes. I got about a quarter of a cup out of it. So then in your blender, you're just gonna blend it all up and it'll kind of make a cheesy looking type of consistency. And then you're just going to pour that into a big bowl and add the rest of the can of tomatoes. So it should be mostly tomatoes with very little juice. And then the pin says to just stir that up and then for a more authentic cheese type of dip, heat it slowly on the stove just until it's warm and then dig on in. So I'm so excited to try this. It smells delicious. Here's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, moment of truth. I've got my little plantain chips. I'm digging in. I'm just going to do it. It like has the consistency of an actual legit nacho cheese, which is so crazy because it's made out of cashews. Oh my gosh, guys. It tastes just like nacho cheese. How in the world is that possible? I'm gonna have another one. Mm, can't even handle it. Oh my gosh, this is so delicious. I am totally, totally Two thumbs up and a nacho cheese bowl. Amazing. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. I have like nacho cheese all over my mouth. Delightful. If you haven't already and you'd like to, hit that button down below, subscribe so you never miss a daily Dreamland video. Kiss someone you love today and I will see you all tomorrow. Ciao.